in this video we would be solving this question which says minus has the utility function u of x comma y is equal to x plus 3 y with this utility function we are asked on the graph below use blue ink to draw the indifference curve passing through the point 3 comma 3 use black ink to sketch the indifference curve connecting the bundles that give minus the utility of 6 so this is the graph given to us where on the x axis you have good x y axis you have good y Firstly, we have to use the blue ink to draw the indifference curve that passes through the point 3, 3. So, we have to find all the combinations of x and y which give Linus the same level of utility as the combination bundle 3, 3. For that, let's first find the utility at the combination bundle 3, 3. So, utility at 3, 3. Utility function is taking the form of x, y is equal to x plus 3 y. So, just substituting the values of x with 3 and y with 3, I get 3 plus 3 multiplied by 3, that is 3 plus 9 is equal to 12. So, I have to find all those combinations of x and y such that my utility is 12. Or x plus 3y is, since the utility function is taking the value of x plus 3y, so your x plus 3y should be equal to 12. This is the equation of your indifference curve. So this is your point 3 comma 3 and simply you can draw the straight line which would look like this. Now the question says use black ink to sketch the indifference curve connecting the bundles that give Linus the utility of 6. So simply now you know that your utility is taking the value of 6. So you have to find all those combinations of x and y which give you the utility of 6 and you're easily able to get your desired equation of the indifference curve which would look like this. On to the next part. The question says on the same graph use red ink to draw Linus budget line if the price of x is 1, the price of y is 2 and his income is 8. What bundle does Linus choose in this situation? So this was the graph we drew in the previous part. Now we have to draw the budget line. First calculate what would, the, what would be the equation of your budget line. You have p of x as 1, p of y as 2 where px is the price of good x, py is the price of good y and m is this income. So your equation of budget line would be xpx plus ypy is equal to m or substituting the values of px, py and m I get x plus 2y should be equal to 8. Budget line would look like this red line. Now the question says, what bundle does Linus choose in this scenario? Utility function was of the form u. u of x comma y is equal to x plus 3y. And this is the equation of a straight line. And if the utility function is taking this form, that means there is a case of perfect substitute. Now what happens when there are perfect substitutes? So optimal choice with the perfect substitute is if the goods are perfect substitute, the optimal choice will usually be on the boundary. That means either here that the person is only consuming one good, good X, or here that the person is only consuming good Y. And how to define whether the person is consuming good X or good Y? That would be calculated by this demand function. So, if price of good 1 is less than the price of good 2, then the consumer would be consuming only good 1. That means he would be spending his entire income on good 1. But if the price of good 1 is more than the price of good 2, then he would not be consuming any of the good 1. He can easily substitute it with the good 2. And if they are equal, then he can choose any combination between 0 and m divided by p1. Now, what is essentially happening here is that if the price of good 1 is less than price of good 2, then the consumer is only consuming good 1. And if it is more than that, and if the scenario is opposite, that the price of good 1 is more than the price of good 2, then he's consuming nothing. That means the consumer is always choosing or spending his entire income on the cheaper option. On that good which has a lower level of price. Now here clearly good 1 has lower price as compared to good 2. Be spending his entire income on good 1. His entire his income 
is 8. The price of good 1 or good X is 1. So he would be consuming 8 units of good 1 or good X sorry. And 0 units of good Y. So his consumption bundle is 8 comma 0 which is this point. The next part says what bundle would Linus choose if the price of X is 1 and price of Y is 4. Again the price of X is lower than the price of good Y. Now also he would only choose to spend his entire income on good 1. Giving him 8 units of good X and 0 units of good Y. So his consumption bundle is again 8,0. So that was all for this video.